What's up guys and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to neglect your aquarium. I'm joking guys. This video is of course not about how to neglect your aquarium, it is rather like what happened to this aquarium. And what has happened? I have neglected this aquarium. Yes, I've been traveling a lot and you know, things go quickly. Some plants transitioning back to immersed growth, growing out of the water here. And yeah, I kind of discovered some footage. I recorded an update of this aquarium when it was like two or three weeks old. And uh, yeah, let's watch this one together. And afterwards, I'm gonna tell you what's going to happen next. Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm not alone today. I have Sebastian here. Maybe some of you, come on, out of focus. Uh, Sebastian is a good friend of mine and kind of member of the landscaping gang. This is, I don't know, a German thing. And he's helping me out today with the filming, so shout out to him. And today's video is probably, as you know by the title, about the 60p aquarium, which is now two weeks old. First of all, before I kind of start talking about this tank, I have to make an announcement regarding my Instagram posting routine schedule. The tank is two weeks old. By the time that video comes out, there have been several posts out there. In the past, I used to keep the post, the material kind of secret to have first release on YouTube. Uh, completely changing it now. Uh, the platforms are now running independently from each other. So basically, if you want to stay up to date, get you know the freshest news, the freshest updates, make sure to follow me on Instagram, link down in the description. And yeah, the videos are coming out as quick as I can. Logan and I are working on it, increasing the uh, uploading schedule. So something great about it. However, guys, today we're focusing about or on the big 60 aquarium, which is a 60 by 50 by 40 centimeter aquarium. And exactly today, right two weeks ago, I planted this aquarium and so we see two weeks worth of growth. And basically we have here in the foreground, we have a Marsilea crinata and you can clearly see how Marsilea crinata is starting to creep into the foreground. And if you remember this making of video, I told you I haven't had just enough material of the Marsilea crinata, so that's why I left kind of patches in the foreground empty those patches here and I let it grow to the foreground and it was a little like pro tip leaving the foreground open because when the plants grow in by themselves it will look like I don't know more accurate and you don't have any bumps in here but uh, you know there is another tip how to get rid of the bumps I will link it here however guys so uh, Marsilea crinata is doing absolutely amazing we see lots and lots of small runners coming to the foreground Monte Carlo is starting to grow specifically in between the rocks here or in this area over there. It's hanging in between the rocks down and getting slowly the look that I wanted to achieve. Over here we have for example the Hygrophila Uruguaya or this side as well. Um, the Hygrophila Uruguaya was very small from the tissue culture but now you know it has grown a lot and you know it's getting there getting the nice red color the leaves getting bigger same thing with the Staruga and repens but what is more amazing and absolutely kind of stunning are the stem plants in the back uh, literally every day in the morning it is a joy or even not in the morning forget it in the evening when the lights are turned off when the plants go to bed you know they're kind of closing their leaves and you see all the little stems, they're so dense, so dense from the beginning. Guys, if you remember from the making of video, I spent hours and hours preparing all the tissue culture plants. I planted them super dense and the result kind of pays off because now the plants are growing like they have been there for a long, long time, super dense, like I have trimmed them before. I don't know, I can't describe it. So literally like if you put in seeds or something, it is looking this dense in the background. So it's a complete, really, really enjoyable every day, you know, to watch the stems growing. Like I said, it's been two weeks and every day something changing. And something that has also changed a lot are the floating plants. It was the last thing that I added to the aquarium after it was filled with water. Remember the little cup 
full of the floating plants. Meanwhile, two weeks after, almost the entire surface is covered with the floating plants. And yeah, that kind of helps me to keep the aquarium in pristine conditions. And this is something I want to talk about next. So we are now at a two weeks period of time and the aquarium is fully kind of free of algae. What have I done you know, to achieve this? And you know, those are the tips for you. First of all, what I did to the filter, if you remember from the making of a uh, film, I used Corrigan. You know, this is from uh, Seekim, like an absorbent filter media, like a raisin, and it has been put in into the filter. This is absorbing, you know, excessive organic waste that come from fresh soil. Also, I'm doing massive water changes. If you have seen the pro tip again, I'm so linking so many videos up here. I'm doing 80% water changes every other day. So I have done in those time basically like six or seven water changes and I really I take the water down this low I refill completely with the reverse osmosis water and yeah adding back in the minerals always keeping the water parameter stable other thing is that kicks in right now that's super handy that it's you know perfect timing is the twin star sterilizer so from the beginning on this aquarium I'm using the twin star sterilizer and my idea placing it right underneath the lily pad is working out perfectly you can see here the small bubbles that are rising up they're getting caught by the by the stream you know by the outflow lily pipe and uh, getting distributed throughout the aquarium the small algae spores that appear in the aquarium right from the beginning, they are killed immediately by this twin star sterilizer, really making it an easy start. So if you are, I don't know, interested in testing out this device, like I keep saying, it's not a must-have device, but it definitely will make your life easier. The best time to try it out is in a fresh setup because, you know, there is no algae existing at the, at the beginning, so it will really keep the algae low for you. So the other thing that works perfectly on this aquarium is the CO2 distribution. I'm using this super small and tiny Aquario Neo Diffuser that is creating tiny, tiny CO2 bubbles. So I have always really good CO2 levels on this aquarium. And the final kind of part to the whole aquarium setup is the lights. The light, I have set up the ONF flat one to the automatic nature mode, how they call it. Basically, I have the ramp up, ramp down, kind of light schedule over a course of 12 hours, which is like half a day, but there is, you know, the ramp up, ramp down period. So I would say full power, I have something about eight hours and uh, maybe too strong, too much light. I tend to keep the light period short in the beginning, usually, that's the advice that I give. But on this setup right now, I keep the light, the distance to the water slightly higher than I would normally. And also, thanks to the floating plant, it's kind of taking away literally like 50% of the light power. It's doing fine, it's doing great. When we wrap up this video, I'm gonna do another water change. And this week, I will go visit my wholesaler and go pick up some fish and shrimp for this tank. Obviously, this will happen meanwhile, like before you get to see this video. So you have the opportunity right now to write down in the comments your guess what my fish choice will be. Usually I ask you for your fish choice. Now I will make the decision myself because I don't have enough time. Uh, but you know guys, write down below your guess and you will find out in the next video if you've been right. And those of you who do the best guess so I want to know the shrimp species, the snail species, and at least one fish species. If somebody is matching all three or at least two of them, he will get a shout out in the next video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little I hope you enjoyed the travel back in time and seeing how the tank has developed. Meanwhile, it is two months and two weeks in and yeah, you've seen it before. It's overgrown and uh, kind of neglected. So I will take care of the tank in future videos. I will show you step by step how I bring it back in shape. And for now, guys, yeah, complete the task in the comments below. Name fish, shrimp and snail and the one or at least the first one to name them right. Gonna get a shout out in the next video. If you follow me on social media, it should be an easy one. And now back to the video little video this is basically you know just an update how the tank is doing and like I said for like daily updates follow me on Instagram links down below and yeah if you like this video leave me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell or is it there I don't know guys you know it better than I do thank you for watching I'm gonna see you in the next one